Vancouver is a, a case that there's usually odd places and it's usually fluffy and uh, it's usually re high reading and it's usually exposed because they use an awful lot of it for decorative purposes. Well, maybe I should start at the beginning where a man goes in and prepares the areas for, puts his plastic up, puts his labels up, checks the area for his way in and his way out. There's a dirty way in and a clean way out every night. So again, we have a pump and we use a uh, wet water. He fills the pump with the wetting agent. Well, puts wetting agent, fills it with water and then puts a certain percentage, 2%, 3%, whatever he feels is right for the job. He wets it and lets it stay. He goes somewhere else and wets again. And it comes back again, checks the, proper, the properties of the stuff that he's wetted. If it's not good enough, he hits it again. I mean, there's cases where we had to wet a job the night before we went home. Because somewhere along the line, somebody may have put a scratch coat of paint or a mist over it to hold the stuff together. And then the people come back either with stagings, majority of my people prefer a ladder because they can move around independently. Actually, there's nothing harmful about the job as long as you protect it. Make sure you wear your gear, all your gear, that's the main thing. So at the end of the day, the product is left on the floor, we wet it again, and we start bagging after all the removal. Because then if there's a spot that can be washed, and brushed, instead of working dry, we'll wet it again. So all the excess water will fall down, and then bag it, make sure it's got labels on it, and store it in one area that is easy for us to remove it. All my water, all my asbestos goes to the dump. <laughs>